heard just recently, I was offering a private mass, so I was on holidays, and I was feeling a little bit um, inadequate in my priesthood, uh, feeling a bit of a fraud, I suppose you could say. Someone had told me I'd, you know, edified them really well and really helped strengthen them by my example, but I knew it was all a bit of a lie. Well, I felt that anyway. But as I was offering the Mass and as I held the chalice in front of me and said those words, you know, this is my blood, I had this moment of realisation that whatever of my own efforts Christ was going to do with my blood what He willed, you know, that unity of life and the purpose and my life being poured out, His life through mine in the priesthood. And it was really a great moment of clarity and of strength. It was followed up by the very same day I went to a recollection run by the Focolari and I asked one of the priests there, a Jesuit, who was also at the recollection to hear my confession. And I made my confession. And then he straight away went to this story. He said, this is a month of July. There's a great devotion now to the precious blood. And every time you say mass and you see in that chalice, think of your life being poured into that chalice. And I was, I think I was in tears actually, just his words were beautiful, but even more so that it was so clearly the same Christ speaking through him as my confessor, as the Christ who spoke to me in the Eucharist and in my heart. And that great unity between the sacraments, that it all comes from the same Christ, acting through me as a priest and acting through the other priests and ministering to me. So it was a wonderful moment, and I'd, I'd give God thanks.